What's up guys welcome to this new video guys in today's video i'm going to be comparing these two platforms called geekpay.africa and grail.co now these two platforms are similar they actually helps you collect payments from different currencies so you can actually use it um they actually allow you to create virtual bank accounts in usd pounds and um euros okay the same thing as grail actually helps you create by a virtual bank account in foreign currencies and it's as simple as signing up completing your kyc and requesting for your virtual bank account the same thing as this platform but there are differences and there are similarities and that is exactly what i'm going to be doing in this video so if you're new to my channel subscribe if you're subscribed already thank you now let's get started so um the first similarity within these two platforms is it's simple to set up so you just need to go to their website and click click on create an account now anybody can create your account as far as you have a valid means of identification either your nin national identity number or your driver's license or your international passport whichever document you have that is valid you can use it to set up an account in any of this platform so ease of use it's very very simple with the two platforms okay so um now talking about virtual bank account yes this is the um, back end of grill now this is the back end of gig pay so if you want a virtual bank account is for gig pay it's simple all you just need to do is to click on this account section and then right here you can create virtual account if you want so you can go through the process of creating virtual account let's say i want an account in usd i click on usd click on create and it's actually going to provide me with the virtual bank account so it's very simple to actually get your virtual bank account now i'm going to talk about for grill it's as simple as as well going to your account section and um as you can see i already have my account but if you're if you're new or you, you are going to see a button that will say you should request for a virtual account and just click on it and uh, fill out the document the details there and you have your virtual account up and running now for that that aspect is very similar and um, it's very easy as well to set up but one of the major difference between these two platforms is let's say for grill for example if i scroll down and go to the rate section as you can see the rate actually changes every day so these uh, rates are going to be changing every day now as you can see for gig pay this is their rate currently so they buy usd from you at 665 and they are selling at 687 okay and um, gbp for 802 and they are selling for 820 and um y for euros they buy for 641 and they are selling at 669 now let's compare that to what we have here on grill so for pound here yeah, grill is buying at 604 white gig pay is buying for 602 so and they are selling at um, 834 and gig pay here is selling at 820 so you see there are differences now um for euros they buy at 690 okay uh, they are buying your euros at 690 and selling for 730 why gig pay is buying your euros at 641 and selling at 669 so there are differences between these two in euros and all of in usd which a lot of people mostly use uh you have you have your 663 that's what they are buying and uh, for gig pay they are buying your usd for 665 okay so there are just two narrow difference but most of the times what i found out is that grail normally have higher rates compared to gig pay but in this situation now i can see that your usd buying rate is higher in um grail, in gig pay compared to grail and um gig pay is selling their dollars for 687 while grail is selling their dollars for 693 so there are differences when it comes to rate now this rate at times um you know because of the differences actually we want to make you choose one platform um over the other but let me go through the main point okay so if you are using geekpay.africa there are something you need to pay attention to and that is charges if you are using grill as well you need to pay attention to charges okay charges are very important so if you go to this account section right here on gig pay you see that for your virtual account you are going to be charged you are charged only 0.9 percent when you receive fund the minimum fee is one dollar so you are going to be charged 0.9 percent 
when you receive money into this account and the minimum you can receive here is one dollar okay on this virtual bank account usd virtual bank account in geekpay.africa so you are charged for every money you receive there are 0 0.9 percent 0 0.9 percent of that money would be used as charges and that is the only charges you need to pay for your um, account for this virtual bank account except when you are withdrawing your money which you pay a flat fee of is it 15 or 13 era i don't know now but it's usually very small and it's a flat fee no matter the amount but for this one you're going to be paying 0 0.9 percent of the money you are going to be withdrawing or that's going to enter this bank account now why for grill um for grill here you are going to be paying two times okay so let's say for example money enters into your account for grill you are going to be paying some charges okay so um let me see if i can get the um the exact charges rates right now but if i can't do that okay if i can't do that let me go to home section let me go to account there should be charges section right here okay okay um gray is actually telling us what this account actually supports and the and the likes okay so let me go to let me see if i can get the charges rate and all those stuff okay so it actually says here usd payment cannot be received from countries within restricted judiciaries accounts can only receive domestic and international wire transfer there is a one percent fee for payment made into this bank okay so for grill it's actually for geek pay is actually 0 0.9 percent why for grill is actually one percent of any money paid into this bank account now that is not the only issue here now the only the main uh, another issue that i found out is now once you pay that one percent fee of any money that enters into this account if you now want to convert that money into naira so that you can withdraw it you are going to be paying some fees now let me go to swap funds you are going to see that you are going to also be paying the same one percent fee if you want to swap your fund so let's say i want to swap to nigeria naira then now as you can see it actually tells me tells me the rate and um, it's actually going to be charging me fees so let's say for example i want to do hundred dollars the fee right here is okay the fee it will be one dollar i think um please i don't have any money right here that's why i didn't bring out the exact um fee but you're also going to be charging the same you're also going to be charged the same one percent okay as you can see here the one percent is ten cent of ten dollars so you're going to also be charged they are also going to be charging you one percent when you're trying to convert so that means they're charging you two places they're charging you for receiving and they're charging you for swapping why for gig pay that is the only charge you're paying nobody actually charges you for swapping your phone so once the money enters here um your account here then uh, if you go to your dashboard you're going to see that you actually have the money then you click on convert once you click on convert you can now convert your money from usd let's say from usd i'll convert it to ngm wallet and um, you're not going to be paying any fee so let's say for example hundred dollars and uh, we're going to be receiving this amount and there is no fee okay so look at the details here you are converting hundred that exchange rate is 665 you will get 66,501 6, there is no charges okay so that that initial charge we paid is the only charge we are going to be paying why for grill they are going to charge us for receiving and also going to charge us for swapping the money as well so these are the two differences between these two platforms now i'm not going to say one is better than the other two of them does a fantastic job now if you come to another major difference that i found out in these two accounts is for this one called grill geekpay.africa sorry they actually have allows you to have a card okay so you can create a virtual or physical card in um in um, usd currency or yeah in usd currency so you can actually create a virtual or physical card so you can go with any of this virtual or physical let's say virtual now I can continue then you can they are going to charge you three dollars for creating this card why for grill there is no option for if you go to, if you click on this cards and recipient this is no there's no option to create a card you can only add your means of payment so this with this means they are going to pay money into your bank account so there's no option to create a card on grill so this is another major difference between these two platforms actually love geek pay 
um, geekpay.africa for this one they have right here which allows us to create a card and then you can fund this card to use on different platforms to pay for different things which is lovely why for grill you can't actually have a card they can they don't actually work with cards right here you can only withdraw your money into your bank that, that, that that's the only point that's the only way to withdraw your money so um that's one major difference and um for every other thing they are very similar you can actually see your dashboard see how much you have see their exchange rate and um you can also visit some other sections the same thing as grill you can actually see everything right here and you can also see their their conversion um stuff right here you can actually see how much you're gonna get for some particular amount of money in the amount of currency so um this two platforms they are similar and they have just slight differences which i've talked about in this video so um whichever one you want to use it's fantastic and you should go ahead to use it so if you have any question at all tell me in the comment section and i will try my possible best to provide an answer to you and uh, if it requires a video of course i'm going to make a video for it okay so um you can as well work with these two platforms if you want so um I, i'm sure i've done justice to this video thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one